Wonderful people of God, welcome back to Omo Biafra TV where we bring you the latest concerning Biafra movement and actualization. My old subscribers, my new subscribers and those who are watching without subscription. On this one, I'm not going to take time to talk because I don't want the video to be too long. I want you to hear what this our brother prophet Stephen have to say concerning what is going Leader on in Biafra, Biafra being released, sit at home should continue every Monday and Tuesday. If you don't have gun to fight, you don't have lawyer to go to court, you don't have anybody to face and fight, you have God. Then use that your God to pray every Monday by fasting and prayer. Be in your house. People are saying that, eh, hey, what of if now, if the man do fasting, how are they going to pay their school fees? How are they going to do people that is doing exam? What are you doing with exam? Those that go to school have then gotten a job. Is there any job in Nigeria? Those that go to school, are they working? There is no hospital in Nigeria. There is no good road in Nigeria. There is no a place that people can say, ah, thank God that God is able. Wherever you are listening to this prophecy, click the share button. Number two, prophecy. God begin to speak to me. The so-called governors in Southeast, they are working hard to make sure they stop the seat at home every Monday and Tuesday. They are talking, they are giving it they are preaching about it on, on media and whatever, but they cannot tell you about how to release the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, Mazin and the Kano. They are not talking about it. That should show you that they know what they are doing. They are telling you how to stop sit at home. They create saboteur here and there. How to arrest your own brother. How to kill people. Listen, everybody is going to die one day. Nobody is going to remain on this planet. The people, there is one young boy that is in South Africa that said he's from Unnewi. I don't want to mention his name. That boy is a scammer. He's only talking on social media and talking about a man called, um, about a man called Barista Joff. Um, sorry, he's talking about a man called Simon Epa. Listen and hear me. Simon Epa is a light. People is speaking against Simon Epa. You people should be careful. God raised Simon Epa for a purpose. Hear this message. Simon Epa did not commit anything. He's not a scammer. He's a good man. But the Bible said in the book of John chapter 3 verses 18 and 18 to 20. John chapter, John chapter uh, 3 verses 18 to 20. The Bible said that the people of the world love darkness instead of light. The people of the world love darkness instead of light. Now, Everybody is talking. Simon Ekpa should stop broadcasting. Simon Ekpa should stop fighting those that is the leader in IPF. Who is leader? Is you all these people that is scammer, that is failing you people, that have collect money at back? Do you know the amount of money they went to pay me? Do you know how much they they are begging to pay me? And I said I don't need it because I don't. I didn't collect the money now. They now plan how to come to get my enemies. They can never get me and they cannot see me. And if they plan, if they try it again as they are coming to my house, they will have us dead and die. I'm the eagle prophet. I'm not afraid. If not, I see, I saw. Federal government should hear this. If you send the SS to check my house or to look for me again, the God I serve is not a man. I am the eagle prophet of the nations. I put the room of man and keep as well. A man cannot stop me, and a woman cannot stop me. Born by man or by woman is too small to stop me. Hear me clearly. I'm not the type of prophet that use police to arrest those that uh, give information or that say something against them. If you say something wrong against me, you will have a kidney failure and die. You remember when I prayed and I told Uche Mefo that he's going to have a problem. What is happening to Uche Mefo now? You do still remember that prophecy when I said that Uche Mefo we have a problem when I went to mountain. What is happening to Uche Mefo now? If you speak nonsense or you say that you are the one they pay to plan or to say something wrong against me or to give information how to get me, you are going to die disgracefully. I'm the ego prophet. Listen, there is no man that can stop the word of God. So as the word of God can never stop, no one can stop me. I will finish well. Tell the federal government that this is me. 
I am well prepared. There is no problem. So that uh, if a prophet had been existing from the beginning, that God had been raising a prophet. God raised me from Biafra land for a purpose. The only what always pay me is that the people that God raised me from that place, Biafra people, you don't know what you have. That is what is paying me. Biafra people, God said I should tell people. That man that I don't want to mention his name, that used to say, this is what will happen in Biafra, now that leader is inside, he's the one speaking. All of them that is speaking is a scammer. Except those that is in America, you can only pick few people in America. Few people in America is real. Now, they are trying, they have already subdued the ESN. Shame people. People are crying that uh, if you sit at home, how will you eat food? Any man or woman that goes out on Monday to do business in Biafra land, that your shop will, have, will catch fire. Except if I'm not a prophet, mark my word. If my mother carries me 13 months, I spend 13 months on my mother's womb. If I am born as the ego prophet of the nations, I carry the word of God to speak. Any man or woman that we say that Biafra cannot be, or that we cancel sit at home every Monday and Tuesday, that person and his generation will have a kidney failure and die. Any man that goes to shop on Monday or Tuesday, to do business or to do anything and your leader is inside and they are going to shop to run business. What business are you doing? Which school? Those that go to school, do they have work? Our girls and young girls and young boys that go to university now is working in a hotel. What a shame. If you are going to university now, it's all about one's girl. It's all about a hotel or a factory where to work. Because those that is working in federal government, they will not, they will not resign from that seat. They will not agree that they have reached 60 years. They can never agree that. Be careful. What I'm saying is what God said I should tell you. I know after now, they will download this video. They will not say that, don't mind the good prophet that is not real. If I'm not real, you that is real, what have you done? Uchemefo saw that Nandekano is not a good man. Uchemefo that he said that he's a good man. What have Uchemefo done? He that said that Nandekano is not doing it well. Um, Ohanes Ndigo that said that Nandekano is not doing it well. What have Ohanes Ndigo done? Ohanes Ndigo, I am suing your six feet. Remember, I said that the, the second president will not see 222. I, I am suing a president being dead. You will hear the news very soon. Guess what happened? Did you see the prophecy I gave three weeks ago? The day that president come to worry. I said that many kings are going to die. What is happening now? As many that go to welcome the so-called president in Owere, all of them will die disgracefully. Listen and hear this prophecy. Nan the Kanu is, a, is somebody's husband. Nan the Kanu is somebody's husband. If you don't know, you should know it. Nan the Kanu is somebody's father. If you don't know, you should know it. Nan the Kanu is somebody's family. If you don't know, you should know it. And they are there talking nonsense. Uh, God will protect him. Uh, God will guide him. Oh, God arise. Who is that? Who? If you did not arise, God will not arise. You have to arise. It is you need to rise and do something. What are the things you need to do? Is to sit at home every Monday and Tuesday. Any man or woman that go to shop on Monday or Tuesday without not doing your fasting and prayer, you and your family and generation will never know peace. You will be on pain and you will die as they have been killing the Biafran people and you are going to your business. You are doing your business and you are happy. And the so-called scammers are telling you uh, how will people survive? How will people survive? When they have a seat at home uh, during the lockdown, did people not survive? People survived. Now, the so-called barrister, the fake barrister, I don't want to mention anybody's name. He now said, I sue federal government for abusing in the can. All those things he's doing is fake. He did not sue anything. He's just doing scam. He's a scammer. 
Everybody should sit at home. That boy that said he's from Unewi, that is in South Africa, talking nonsense, and they're saying that this or that, that uh, uh, Biafran people, uh, that he loves Simon Ekpa, that Simon Ekpa should stop what he's doing. That boy is not IP. That boy is a scammer. Listen, I'm not in any IPOB meeting. I'm not in any Biafra meeting. I have never in my life visited a place that are doing Biafra meeting. But did you see now that the DSS come to my house yesterday? Why? Because of the looking, because of the looking for the man that give a prophecy, the ego prophet. Hear this prophecy I'm releasing now. The governors and the people that the leader of indigenous people live for them to be broadcasting all of them have been bribed all of them both the secretary i don't want to mention but both the woman in in fact the darkness is bad yo darkness is bad i wonder why things i wonder why at times we see some christians are poor do you know why christians always go to church and pray after praying you don't have power you don't determine. You don't like to have agreement with God. That is why many of you have a prophet. You cannot sow a seed. You cannot bless your prophet. You cannot even be like, which area do I need to make this man to be among to glory? People will be like, prophet, I'm supporting ministry. I'm supporting you. Can't, you are too small to support a prophet. You are too small to support a ministry. A ministry. Whatever you are giving me, you are giving me to for the glory of God, for you to be blessed. So if you are there, you say, oh, I support. No, you don't support. A man can never support God. What I'm trying to bring out is a, is a message. The darkness is too strong. How can a darkness people begin to speak, to stop sit at home, to stop sit at home? Shame to you people. Look at you. Look at that, your local brain. People say that they're hungry. Since you have been going to work, they say that if you didn't go to work, they will sack you. In Imo State, they are owing salary people. They are owing salaries. How much is your salary in Nigeria? A country they pay people 35,000. A country they pay people 500,000 a month. Tell me, please, they don't have light. Let me use myself example that is using Lister. If I, the fuel that my son is buying to me is more than 200 and something thousand every month. Only fuel for Lister for generator. Because there is no light. Because there is no light here in, con in this country. And the government traveled abroad. They will see light there. They will see good road. They will be promising you very soon. Anambra people will now hold the election. Listen. Anyone that go to election in Anambra, you and your family will die disgracefully. You will never in life know something good. Where are you? What who do this to you? Why is it that darkness people always win your mind? Why is it that, oh my God, huh? oh my God, who did this to you people? Anything that evil people are doing does not finish well. Why? Even when president from Igbo land come to president, a, a man from Abia State, the former, he, he was a president, his name is called um, Agwin Yuros, somebody Agwin Yuros. He did not finish that president. During the time of President Goodluck Jonathan, he did not finish that president. Anything Igbo people are doing, they don't finish it. It's a problem, oh. It's a big problem. Hear my prophecy. Everybody, every Monday, sit at home and Tuesday. Read your Bible, cease to cease, do your fasting, call your family. Don't listen to all those scammers. The problem of Nigeria, that is why I said that a man called, a former president called, um, Good luck, Jonathan. is a failure. When he entered that seat, what did he do? When good luck, Jonathan entered that seat, he did not do anything. That is why I'm not happy and I don't want Nigeria anymore. What God said is coming is Biafra and nothing will stop Biafra. When good luck is in that seat, good luck did not build Enugu Express Road. No road to go to Enugu State. If you carry your Jeep, you will be spoiled because of bad road. And they are there talking about one Nigeria. They ask you now to, the governors are begging you to go to work. If you didn't go to work, they will sack you. The same governor will still kill you. You better help yourself. Sit at home. 
Don't listen to all those people say, I don't want to mention anybody's name. I don't want to mention anybody's name in IPOB. Because all of them now is also a killer. If you mention any IPOB name now, they will go and kill you. I'm telling you the truth. The IPOB people also have inner kakus that is killing people. They have bad gang now. Oh my God. This is happening. Oh. This is happening. Now, let's not hear this. Everybody should share this prophecy. If you did not offer the one you can offer now is to sit at home every Monday and Tuesday and read your Bible. If you did not do it, I'm not seeing none of the kind of coming out. <laughs> Watch it now. This is only what you will do that will weak government. Keep on doing it. Keep on doing it. Don't look what that if you see anybody in the road, in fact, oh my god, I don't want listen. This is what God said I should just address. And wherever you are watching me from, back me up in prayers. There is danger, big one. But I know he that called me is with me. I will finish well. I will not stop on the road. And I want the world to know this. The international communities should know that no matter how many people they kill in Biafra land, they cannot kill everybody. If you people refuse to save Biafra people's life, it is a wickedness. United Kingdom, another sickness is coming that will wipe the whole world out in 222. Mark my word and keep my prophecy. You know me. My name is Ego Prophet of the Nations. If something happened that Nandekanu is not released, the whole world will be wiped up, will be wiped out in 2022. Dangerous disease is coming. That's what the Lord said to me. Today's date is 17th of September 2021. What is about to happen in 2022? It will be worse than COVID-19. The whole world should arise and save Biafra so that the mercy of God will speak in the whole world. Because it is Biafra people will save the whole world. After God, the next people is Biafra. Everybody should not be silent. There is danger. Wherever you are, pray for me. Pray for me. It was God that saved me yesterday. If it is not God, if it is not God, I don't know. You would have been hearing that my enemies is being arrested. My enemies is being killed. The mercy of God will speak in the whole world. God bless you. Share this broadcast right now, wherever you are watching me from. Thank you all. Jesus loves you. As I said before, my name is Ego Prophet of the Nations. Shalom. Thank you for watching. If the video interests you, please share.